two protons approach each other. Protons have been accelerated to very high energy, practically the speed of light. Let's zoom in on one of the protons. It is composed of three quarks, two up quarks and one down quark, moving around very close to each other. The quarks are kept together by a number of gluons interacting with the quarks and also with the other gluons. Gluons give rise to the gluon field that keeps the constituents of the proton together. When the two colliding protons get very close and overlap, an energetic gluon is exchanged between two of the quarks of the protons. The scattered quark and the other two quarks in each of the protons separate more and more. Now a strange thing happens. The quarks cannot separate very much because of the strong gluon field. Instead of stretching the gluon field between the quarks further, the gluon field breaks by creating a new pair of quarks, a quark and an antiquark. The quarks continue to move apart from each other, once again stretching the gluon field between them. The gluon field breaks again by forming a quark and an antiquark pair. This process is repeated over and over again until all the quarks are moving close together in pairs or in triplets, forming bound states of a quark and an antiquark, or of three quarks. At the end of this process, initiated by an exchange of a gluon between two of the quarks of the colliding protons, four or more jets of particles have been created, each jet containing dozens of particles. The jets of particles are remnants of a violent quark-gluon interaction inside the colliding protons.